Hello, Gemini. How are you? It is me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. This week, we are going to do your read with the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. It's new in the Beehive. I'm going to use it for the Element and Design readings, but everybody's getting a little taste of it this week. The card pulls have been much fewer than usual. You have five cards today, so you're up there. I think you're up there with, I think, Pisces. Took, took the cake this week so far, but there's a lot here. It's very layered. It's very beautiful, actually. The the progress that you've made, Gemini, I think since the last couple readings I've done for you, it's really quite the elevation. It's really quite the graduation, right? So I, I woke up this morning um, and I felt like ready to go. I like ready to take on the world. So I think that there's a real, um, hmm, that's cute. Um, I think that there's a real energy of, um, empowerment you feel very much get like 44 in my head like there's a real sense of of empowerment that you have bubbling up inside of you it's really great it's really potent right now probably because the the full moon's coming too so that added benefit from leo rolling over on you i think is helping you be um particularly decisive right now mm -hmm. so the the first two cards that you have out you have the middle world and you have the gatherer so 36, that breaks down to a, what, six, seven, nine? Breaks down to a nine, wait, six, seven, eight, nine. That, yeah, that's how math works, Lauren, right? Nine is the number of completion, all right? It's, um, it's a very independent number. I see you here, Gemini. I see, how do I want to put this? You have grown a bubble around yourself. I think throughout... This last season, it's been a real stretching and growing season for you. And I think in doing that, you realized part of what was necessary was for you to sort of retract some of your energy from people, places, and things around you to kind of center and focus on what you had to do on um, gaps that you had to fill and bridges you had to build, I'm getting in particularly. And it's like these roots that you have, they almost look like electricity to me. Like very kind of like nuclear energy. It's the sense of um, your your lower chakras, right? Your base, your root, that fight or flight, that um, that instinct. It's like that pure like animalistic instinct that we have. It seems like it's really come alive, but because you've done so much shadow work, perhaps you had like an ego death, um, that it's it's powering you up. And it's like charging you up like a battery, almost, almost like a Christmas tree. It's like you plug it in down here and everything kind of goes up, but without flaring up your ego, I think because you maybe have possibly come out of like a, a dark night of the soul or an ego death or something like that, or the sense of empowerment is so potent because it is very, very pure, right? And like I said, part of being able to do that in a safe place, I'm getting without interference was to sort of isolate yourself a little bit even though perhaps with all of these crows up here sixes are very prevalent in your reading so you know um because of all these crows here that perhaps you know there were times and moments where there were things or people or or fears or doubts or insecurities or things kind of floating around but you didn't let it inhibit your growth too much and i see this big energy as as you get activated something Something, it's like almost like a light switch. Like you woke, like I woke up this morning and I feel 100% different than I felt yesterday. I feel, I didn't feel like disempowered yesterday, but I feel like, oh, I feel like a superhero today. It's, it's, it's very interesting. And it seems like you woke up and like a little light switch went off or somebody said something or something happened or it was like, all of a sudden you like kicked into overdrive and your energy has started to expand, right? With these leaves, almost like as though it's pushing the resistance, like your energetic resistance to all of these distractions around you are kind of pushing them out of your bubble. And with this fire, it's like all the smoke down here, but I don't know if you see it, but it looks almost like a, like a snail to me. I'm getting snail energy and snails are very symbolic of kind of slowing, slowing things down a little bit to a manageable pace right? Because we feel so empowered and we're like, we can take on the world, but it's like, yeah, but a day at a time sort of energy, kind of learning how to pace yourself a little bit, not getting too ahead of yourself in, in a lot of situations, but also in your healing and in your growth. I think that you realized it was going to take you more time 
to, to accomplish some of this inner work and you just kind of accepted that fact, which is very, very good. That's a very, very good thing. It really is so beautiful. But like I said, with that, there is an energy of isolation here. It feels a little bit self-imposed, but as well as we kind of grow and ascend, we kind of move up a little bit spiritually in terms of our, our wisdom and our maturity. I've, I've said it a bunch of times. A lot of times you start noticing people, places, and things start falling off a little bit because you're not in the same vibrational category anymore. It's not good, bad, or indifferent. It just kind of is what it is. And so if those two different people on those two different planes kind of get too close to each other, it's like a plane when it descends. It hits some turbulence, right? It gets a little, it gets, there's a little friction there, that conflict. And then you have it followed up by the gatherer. So this is how I see you a little bit. Again, a little bit isolated. And in this isolation, you have, in doing all this self-work, I feel as though you have little, quite literally gathered quite a cornucopia for of a cornucopia for yourself of yourself. I think seeing and appreciating different parts of you, utilizing different skills and abilities that you may or may not realize that you had. It's it's um really encompassed in a big sense of um remembering your self-worth, which I think is really beautiful and important. Um, but it's it's also a little bit like you have a lot now, Jenny. It's like you have a lot of skills. You have a lot of harvests. You have a lot of growth. Like you, you have um, things to show for the work that you've done. And some of it could be tangible monetarily, right? But I think a lot of it is just in terms of like your self-esteem and the energetic imprint that you put on the people, places, and things around you. It's funny. This feather almost, it kind of looks like a quill to me. It's almost um kind of sitting here, looking at everything you have, kind of wanting to send a message, sort of wanting to call someone or call something in. There, there's, there's a little bit of loneliness within this isolation. Like I have all of this. I've grown so much. I've done so much work on myself. I've gathered all of these things, these aspects, these qualities. And it's like, I, I would like someone to share it with, right? It's like, I don't have anyone to share it with. It's, it's very interesting. And I think that this internal burn right? It's like, again, it's coming from your, and maybe it's because you've, you've reestablished a sense of self-worth that now you're in an, like, I deserve mentality and not in an egoic way, but in like, I deserve love. I deserve happiness. Like, I deserve success. I deserve these things. And it's kind of like letting a little bit of spark underneath you, right? Because we get a lot of that drive from our base and our root chakras. We get it from the sacral. We, we get it from those lower bits. It's like the source of life, right? And as it's doing that, it's kind of coming in and like heating up your bubble a little bit. It's kind of like, you don't realize, but you might be unconsciously, I forget, somebody had something like this. It might've been Scorpio where they um, were intentionally or, or not intentionally, unconsciously trying to let a fire under their own ass because un they knew unconsciously that they were a little bit uncomfortable where they were, that they wanted some kind of movement, some kind of friction, some magic, some alchemy. And so unconsciously they kind of created it by, by, by lighting, lighting the engines up, like throwing, throwing fuel on the fire. And in doing that, again, you are alchemizing, you are creating these little bubbles. And it's almost like you're going to burst your own isolation bubble because there's a sense of, of loneliness here. You're like, that, that's enough. That's enough. I don't, I don't need to be alone anymore. Like I don't need to be perfect in order to be successful and to have the things that I want. And just kind of, I also feel like there's a big uh, reflective process too between what you have just come out of and having a lot of appreciation for yourself, a lot of compassion for yourself. Because next out, you also have the witness and you have the completion card. And these came out for a couple signs too. And I shuffled in between. So these are obviously very pertinent cards this week. You have the witness and then you have completion. And I feel like there's um. In acquiring all these things, Gemini, there's a there's a scavenging, a scavenger kind of energy, like a scavenger hunt. Like you almost like you you got the scent of something that you wanted, and so you kept leading, going down the down the path. And in doing so, you you found all these little detours, right? I was like, oh, I need to do work here. Oh, I need to do work there. Like, oh, I need to do this. Oh, wait, I, I have to heal that. And that kind of led you into doing this. And it's like in your natural, your raw state, you're a little weathered, you're a little wild, right? Because especially because it's like your, your, your instincts are heightened right now. I feel like in all varieties, you might be having like a Kundalini awakening. That could be a thing for you. And it's like you have all this thing, like this wild woman, this wild man sort of energy to you. 
And as you start to slowly burst your bubble, I feel like a lot of this kind of trickles off you and you come back into this. So this is you, again, still a little wild, still a part of the earth, still in this middle world, right? Kind of forging your own path, having, forcing this growth, this alchemy from within you. And you're using your intuition to kind of, again, reflect back on this situation, really highlight it for yourself, but still also very much decorated, right? Still a little bit of an adornment right here. It's um, almost like a merit badge, like, a, like an energetic... Your, your aura color could have changed. There's like an energetic merit badge sort of that you have right now. And again, you have this card completion. Six and, six and three is nine. That's completion. So it's like these two versions of yourself, the middle world, right? It's kind of coming to, to the end of this cycle where you had to allow yourself this isolation, allow your kind of more instinctual nature to take over for you to kind of lead because growth is a natural process. So you have to do it in a natural state. And then after you were able to do that, reflect upon it, right? Have compassion, have pride, healthy pride. You were then able to, to shed that. Like somebody threw a bar of soap at you and you're still like are maintaining a lot of these natural instinctual elements of you that make you so authentically you, but also with the added benefit of being able to travel kind of in between consciousness, in between levels of, of awareness, right? Intuition, all of these things. Being very representative of the middle world, little bits of both, having gone through the shadow work, having connected to your intuition, to your higher self, and being able to walk that out as like a regular ass person, like a muggle through your everyday life and push yourself through that. And in doing that, you've created alchemy. You've created fire. You've moved the birds with the wind. You've created hydropower, like an Aquarius is reading, right? You've done all of these, all of these natural elements. And that part is complete now for you. And I, um, this, the, this third eye on her hand as well, there's, I'm getting like an evil eye energy off of it in the sense that you know that the thing your essence your core your spirit making it's like i'm getting like a lot of your wellness and your wholeness energy you're kind of seeing how before you realize that and before you did this work anything that you tried to kind of do or start or participate in was never properly completed it wasn't fully it wasn't fulfilled it didn't feel right because there are pieces of you kind of like missing a little bit like those little things you weren't getting it's like you had to combine your your actual like animalistic monkey mind instincts with your higher self with the combination of all of that in your body as you go about your life going through different situations and the things that life throws at us but i also think that it's illuminating that on the other side of this completion you have become this luminous warrior i believe aries just got this card and i was looking at his hair Right? So I'm like, these are two moons, right? These are two moons. And then I'm looking at his hair and I'm like, that kind of looks like a third moon. What planet has three moons? Pluto. Pluto is retrograding Capricorn right now until October. Yes. And the thing with that Pluto rules, Pluto rules kind of rebirth and transformation. And when you put that with um, Capricorn, which is a very earthy sign, I think ways in which we handled our instincts before fight or, fight or flight, rejection, abandonment, lust, you know what I mean? Sexual, like rebirthing energy, all of that. I think it came through a lot in this shadow work because Pluto represents a lot of that as well. And I think that the way that you process attraction, interaction, um, fears of abandonment, like trigger moments, I think has really been brought to the surface in this isolation for you going down a few of these detours and a lot of 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 these these pumpkins these gourds these gourds something with gourds these gourds that you've acquired a lot of it is self-awareness about i have to, it feels like a lot physically too when like you start getting hot and you know you're gonna get angry or like you're you kind of like sink down in your energy a little bit and you know it's like you're feeling someone it's a it's a little bit like that or when someone says something to you and you're like oh i don't like that there's, there's something to that, that uh, the way that you used to process attraction, intention, desire, just, just pure primal instincts has really been 
brought to the surface and in that it's been able to be kind of purified a little bit by fire you might have been getting hot flashes you might have been getting hot flashes and in doing so it's really purified those processes for you which is why you're able to kind of put have this spark under your ass right now without doing it from an egoic place because i think that ego death that that shadow work that dark night of the soul whatever it did it was very purifying to your energy and to um, a lot of your shadow aspects i think that is what's going on here and now you've been able to kind of walk through this process as a scavenger, like as someone who's enlightened. And now it's like, this is you, I feel like in the middle earth, this is your representative in the middle earth, middle earth and a masculine energy kind of making decisions again, being very decisive about what you want and what you don't want. And, and when things have pushed you too far and what your boundaries are, Gemini, and how you're going to walk that through, right? Because again, there's like a lot of this transformation, like this butterfly, this phoenix energy arising from this card and that the the fire that's sort of in your belly right kind of giving you life from the inside out it's something that you know was like a, a download from source it was put into your head it was an idea it was a spark of inspiration of a this is for me i want to go down this road like this is who i feel like my i could be this is the kind of difference that i feel like i could make and you realize that it's um you're almost like your first instinct was right. Your first instinct was right. You might've been putting it in wrong, in the wrong place and, and maybe perhaps the wrong people, which is why you had to do some of this isolation. But like that, the pure seed of that idea is, is the right thing because that has what's settled in your belly, in your solar plexus, your creativity, your viability, your vitality, your, your confidence, your creativity, all of this stuff. It's like, it's like the, the hub, the centrifuge, I have no idea what those words mean, but that's, that's what they're giving me, right? It's, it's one in the same. It is connected. But in realizing that now, now you're approaching this goal you have, this, this potential you want to reach, this relationship, this project, whatever it is, from such a higher, such an elevation, from such an elevated way that the um, purity of your intention is much more authentic. And so I feel as though you're feeling much more confident in being able to receive that blessing now. I think that's what's going on. And there are a lot of sixes, right? So um, I was particularly looking at the suns. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. And three, three, three. Is that right? Three, three, three. Yes. And he has this geometric thing right here. And that has six sides to it. So it's like three, three, three or 33 is very indicative of um, like body, mind and soul alignment. And so you hear number like 66 or 666 and they're like it's the uh, no it's not no for me that's a again it's that leveling up 333 is body mind and soul alignment here 666 is that elevated the next level you've completed this and you've moved past middle earth now it's like you you just leveled up gemini it's really beautiful it's a really strong energy i hope you feel an awesome and proud of yourselves because i'm feeling awesome today and i'm proud of you guys so that was your reading, Gemini. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you were able to take something out of this. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support and the comments. I love talking to you guys and all the subscriptions and the likes and just my cup runneth over for you every damn day. So until I see you next time, you take care of yourself. You keep making good decisions because it looks like you're doing all right. I'll see you next time. Thank you.